Hey, it's Jay Barino. I'm returning to Annihilation. Three new missions have been released by Dude Key Missions 13, 14, 15. Annihilation, my long lost love, how I've missed you. Trying to remember what happened in the last mission, but let's go ahead with mission 13. Facility 14A, with the help of Corrupted Energies, Crane successfully extracted Broodmother Nakaria's essence from his body and reverted the curse that was cast upon her. That's right, we did do that last mission. With Nakaria returned to her formal self, Crane learned even more about his past as a Terran, informing and adding, confirming and adding to the information he received from Jared Malrick. Now Crane and the Daggerfang Brood find themselves in Facility 14A, the construction site of the RSSI's super weapon, the Annihilator, where he plans on building up an army to destroy the warship. The RSSI will not let you disable the power conduits with ease. Expect heavy resistance. That's right. So we revive Nicaria, theoretically to help us destroy this weapon. Now, I believe that it was Crayon he linked up with the CPG Rebels. The CPG Rebels went elsewhere to help destroy some other RSSI facility while Crayon was left here to destroy this, whatever it's called, the the Annihilator, right? So, here we go. Uh, I believe I've been playing on hard, right? So let's just do hard. I am going to stick with Raptors. I will do Hunters. I will do Corpsers. Corpsers on Brutal, not as helpful. Enemies tend to ignore spawn units on hard mode, though. Corpsers should be great. Don't get me wrong, though, Vile Roach is also very good all the time. The RSSI certainly has a strong presence here, so we're going to have to do our best to force our way through these bases. We do have some upgraded Zerg units, though. That should be pretty helpful. I want to point out there's been some, uh, some upgrades, upgrades, some updates to, I think, specifically Mission 2 of this campaign to improve the dialogue a little bit between some of the Terran forces to make it a little more believable, so I recommend you go check that out. Also, if you're new to my channel, you really should go back and watch this whole series. Mission 11 particularly was incredible. Damn, the fog is thick today. I can hardly see what's ahead. I know, buddy, but despite their terrible we weather conditions, we gotta stay on lookout. Don't allow anyone near the facility. These guys are going to get smoked. That was really cool camera work right there, because you really couldn't see Crane until the camera moved in a little closer to him. Got him! Got him! Got him. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, sweet deal. Got the Stukov voice files being modified. Shit, it's Crane's forces. Kill those Nidus worms. Nah, dog. You're about to get smoked. Attention, all personnel. The, the facility is under siege by Morganis Crayon. Bolster your defensive positions. Do what you want, Terrans. You cannot stop the Dagger Fang. Kazul, what is the situation here? Where can I find the Terran warship? Their ship is currently undergoing maintenance and can be located on the direct other side of the facility. While in this state, the warship remains heavily vulnerable. RSSI forces are entrenched all around the site. Still under construction and vulnerable. This is the perfect opportunity for us. Does it possess any threat to our forces in its current state? Only slightly. Few of the warship's 
weapon systems are fully functional, and I do not sense any energy closely resembling what we found within the psi emitted devices. Its supposed ability its supposed ability to emit a radiation facility has not been implemented yet. However, the Terrans are planning on improving the weapon's already active combat systems. I wonder if that means it's like an evolving boss fight. I sense powerful sources of energy emanating from a set of power conduits. I sense one of them powering up as we speak. The RSSI are going to activate it soon. What is their purpose, Kazul? The Terrans must be using these use these to channel power into the warship. To suppress its power, you must destroy the conduits before you can move against their weapon. All forces are set up, boss. We're defending the Annihilator. Perfect. Activate the power conduits and let's show Cran what it can really do. Nah, I mean, I, you don't have to do that, buddy. <laughs> They've begun. We need to move swiftly, Crayon. I am ready. Let's get this over with. Alrighty. First things first, we're gonna quick save so that we don't have to rewatch any cinematics. And... Give me some drones. We need to form up an army and do it fast. Do not let the Terrans power the warship. Those first few larvae didn't count towards my select all larva. Really strange thing. Judging purely from the rate of power being transferred to the warship from each conduit, I am able to calculate an approximate timer of when it will be fully powered. Use your time wisely, Emperor. Okay, so 25 minutes and we want to destroy as many power conduits until then, I assume. Crane, I'm still recovering, but that does not mean I cannot aid you. Alright, Nakaria. I hear you. If you need help, call for me. I will bring swift eradication to the Terrans. Okay, we still have the Greater Nidus Worms. Broodmother Nicaria. Can be used to help you push into fortified positions or defend your base in case of emergencies. If you choose to call her down, she will land at Crayon's position where she will be under your command for 60 seconds. When Nicaria leaves, she will need time to recover. Four minute cooldown. So once every four minutes, we have a minute of Nicaria. Sweet deal. Slime puddle and contamination. Huh. Okay. Well, let's just let's just get building right now. We gotta we gotta just focus on getting some units out as soon as possible. I'll probably take my second gas right away. And yeah, I get I am under the impression that we're gonna have there's gonna be a boss fight in 24 minutes. We want to destroy as many power conduits as possible. In between then and now. That's what I think. We definitely want to roach warn. Start spreading some creep. See if they bring detectors or not, or if the creep tumors are visible uh, to, to them or not. Hopefully not. We do have spawn banelink still. Spawn greater nidus network is, well, nidus worm is good. We can use that, but we need 300 gas to effectively do it, because we want to put one right in our main base and then one wherever we go. So I don't know how into that I really am. We can't get a hive. We will get a second evolution chamber, and there's no spawn larva, so that means let's get a second hatchery over here. And the big question, in my opinion, is going to be how swiftly will, be, will they be attacking us? I suppose we can start moving around and seeing what we can find. It looks like there, there's a few different directions they could come from. There's some enemies. Get another. Get another creep tumor and just keep spreading the creep. Give me some vision. Men attack Crane's base directly. Delay his assaults. No thank you. Okay, oh, that's right. We have really, really good upgrades for our roaches. So we're probably going to do like a roach heavy attack. Um, we don't have any hydralisk upgrades yet, but that's okay. Just spawn banelings on these guys. Excellent. And then with those banelings, let's continue. Our spawn banelings are not the same banelings of, uh, that, that we have. So like I chose hunter banelings, but we don't have any hunter banelings. That's not a big deal. I'm just pointing out that that is a thing. Okay, and then we just spam mend and we should be fine. And we might as well just do as much damage as we can. Let's back out, and let's get Roach Speed, and Adaptive Plate. I'm just going to get all of those. Those all seem wonderful. We get Missile Attacks, and then Carapace, uh, carapace uh, Armor. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, hotkey these, and then we're going to need... We're going to need some spine crawlers, I assume, if we want to stay alive. So let's just keep spreading the creep. Give us some advance warning for when and where the enemy will attack us. Oh, there's some gas over here. We should go and get all this stuff. And uh, getting a more and more swarm queens is probably really good, too. They have not done me wrong. We're probably going to want to rally to Crayon. Never mind. Let's back up. Okay, there's Nakaria. Let's see what she can actually do here. I should not have called her. I really shouldn't have. Uh, contamination, what can you do? 
Just ha I'm just using. I'm just having her use her stuff. Okay, well let's. I mean, she's still out, so let's go. She's gonna be gone pretty soon here. Uh, make roaches. No, we need overlords. We need some spine crawlers. We need to be able to defend ourselves. Nicaria is still up, so we might as well use her. Go ahead and throw down your contaminate and, and this. Just use your abilities, please. And then cray in. Okay, and then let's just destroy this last piece, or, or the, the actual power conduit, and we're in really good shape. This is as much help as I can give you, Crayon. Oh, okay, so we can't spread the creep. That's uh, where enemies are. Let's try a little further up here. All right, that looks good. Okay, and I want roaches. Still want roaches. Probably want to get another hatchery and some more uh, drones. So let's throw this down here. The carry is back in three and a half minutes. Oh dear. Uh, banelings, banelings, banelings. What? I cannot destroy it. The conduit was powered down, but I'm sensing more power being slowly drawn to it. While disabled, the conduit is made impervious to your attacks, and the warship's construction is slowed. Excellent. I sense the facility power core beginning to repair the damage done to the conduit. You'll have to take control of it to ensure the Terrans do not reactivate the conduits. Can we not destroy the core? No, Emperor. The structure is burrowed deep into the facility. Destroying it will obliterate the area immediately. This certainly complicates things. Terrans have intercepted the power core location. It is now under their control. Okay, so let me I, let me understand this more. Power conduits will disable upon taking fatal damage. The facility's power core is responsible for channeling power to disabled conduits, and after three minutes, the power conduits will reactivate. A disabled power conduit will increase your timer by three minutes, while a reactivated power conduit will reduce your timer by 1.5 minutes. Have all four power conduits disabled simultaneously to win the mission. You can prevent power conduits from reactivating by taking control of the area surrounding the power core. You can take control of it by having units nearby. The RSSI will attempt to retake control of the power core, though. You cannot take control of the power core while... Okay. Okay, so we have to control the power cores too. Good lord. Okay, so this is this is complex, without a doubt. Um, this is not a joke. Um, we need these set up, and I want to move out and start start pushing forward as well. We need to we need to go. Get a hydrogen. Okay, banelings, men. Okay, we might need a carrier for that, or just more units in general. That's for sure. Let's keep spreading creep uh, this way. Is this a ramp up here? It may be. We're going to find out pretty soon. And aberrations seem pretty good. Oh, we can make guardians, too. We may need a bunch of guardians. So this is uh, this seems tough, and we need to we need to take the power core, too. So I, I'm unclear if we actually lose, like, right away or not. All right, throw down some banelings. Spawn banelings, very, very good. These uh, commandos are, are tough as well. Okay, let's get both of these up upgrades for our... Uh, Hydralists. We have aberrations now, and with men, that should be pretty good. You were the only one I could think. Okay, let's get ground carapace. I think that's kind of what we need, and we just need more money. We need better income. I'm unable to really progress. Is this a ramp? I think we we take the ramp. Well, that that's not taking us where we need to be. What's happening to you? Okay, I would love more uh, swarm queens. Swarm queens, I think, is what we're gonna really be relying heavily upon here. Okay, one more, and then maybe we, if we could get missile attacks, that would be really, really helpful. We just don't have enough gas, so we're not going to have enough gas. So I, just, I guess we just go ahead and we make uh, Zerglings, and we try to push into another direction. I've recovered. Call me whenever you need it. Okay, so we have Nicaria. we got to remember to use her a lot. Uh, spawn Banelings right there. Move in there. Mend. Let's call down Nicaria inside this base. Okay, Nicaria, come on up and use Contaminate or, or something. And then Crayon, I got a hotkey and use men frequently. Okay, we've cleared out this location. I have to back up so that we can kill this stuff. Okay, the power conduit's back online, so we have to destroy it. We lost our uh, Hydra Den, so let's throw this down. Okay, let's come on over here and destroy the power conduit once more. And then we have to get a few spine crawlers and such. Okay, more roaches. Oh my word. Oh my word. Okay, so she's gone. We're gonna lose this. 
gonna lose it, I think. Yep, there it goes. This is, um, I mean, it's hard to have enough defense at home at every, at every moment. There we go. Okay, so let's head back down here and go up this ramp, if this is an actual, if this is even an actual ramp, I'm not sure. Groove spines again. Let's get a few more spine crawlers. This is, this is intense. This is a tough map. All right, let's push up here. Oh, another base. Uh, we, we really need this, like, immediately. Mend. Maybe just making banelings, just straight up banelings would be the most helpful thing to do here. Okay, well, taking this base is going to be huge, actually. Roachling's just getting in there. Crane, why don't you move up? I'd love for you to mend these uh, aberrations, actually. There we go. Okay, gonna come over here and take this base as soon as possible. If I would have known there was a base there, I would have taken it a little earlier, actually. Okay. And it looks like they're actually building out of these buildings. So this should take some pressure off of me as I as I destroy these things. This is good. This is very, very good. And this links around to this area so we can start spreading the creep. Okay, and you guys come over here. Did my drone make it or did my drone die? My drone must have died to this these groups of units. Lots and lots of banelings, mend. Okay, so I think unless the units are, unless the attacks respond and they may very well be we should be safe uh, for a while um, from this direction so we can just kind of hang out here and come over in this direction I need to get to the power core but I'm not 100% sure which direction to go to get to it um, one other thing I could do is get some more Queens and uh, and use the Queens to uh, to just spread creep more and more and more okay Nakari is not here unfortunately give me some give me some banelings man and then uh, just set up spine crawlers around this thing. Actually, I could do that now. Okay, getting rid of these bases is huge, actually. Like, huge. <laughs> uh, spawn some banelings back here, buddy. I just, I'm just using his abilities as frequently as possible. Let's move this aberration back so it doesn't just die. Another base over here that we could take. Let's go ahead and hotkey this. And you, drone, why don't you just move over here in advance. Spread some creep. Oh dear. Okay, this is this is really intense, I'd say. Okay, and more drones, and then let's go ahead and set up some spine crawlers around this thing so we can just hit it and kill it every time it comes back up. Nicaria is back. We don't really need her right now. I suppose let's get some hydralisks. Actually, no, we need overlords. So let's just send those here. Whew. Okay, uh, we could go for the next uh, the next power conduit, but frankly, we still need to destroy this one. The fact that they're neutral means that my units won't automatically attack it, so I have to stay on top of that. And like I was saying, they're not attacking me, and unless their attacks respond, and they very well might be, um, I do have to be very cognizant of, uh... The final battle is near. Can we get over there? It doesn't look like we can get up there. We're gonna have to go around. The only way to go is through this middle area, I think. Okay, give me queens. What is that? Oh, it's one of those big weird things. Oh, those really cool looking things. We also have Frenzy, which I researched. And, um, okay, let's just keep making drones. I can take this base here pretty soon, and we'll keep spreading creep. Now, there's nowhere for us to go. And again, I don't know if the enemy is, uh, spawned or what, but... I don't think we need to carry her right now, but we will. Okay, so let's keep pushing. We have 12 minutes until the Annihilator activates. Oh, dear. Oh dear, this is scary. I mean, I'm making good progress, I think. Is that a bridge? I'm not sure if we're going to be able to, to activate that bridge or not. Uh, Crayon, just keep mending as we push across this. Lay some Banelings down. Kill that, uh, that Thor with them. You guys back up. These things are awesome looking, the Eviscerators. They're crazy looking. They're based on Warhounds, it looks like. Okay, we can't cross the bridge, but we can destroy the generator that will activate the bridge, I take it. Oh, by the way, attack, attack, attack. And we can head over and get this last, uh, or this, this core over here. And I suppose we're going to want to use Nicaria. Actually, no, I don't think we need to use Nicaria. This doesn't seem hugely defended. Okay, Battlecruiser is not, I'm not thrilled with it. <laughs> okay, destroy this. 
Excellent. All right, that's two down. Oh, this is bad. Um, oh, god damn it. <laughs> I should have expected this. My units are way too far away. We got to get out some Zerglings or something. We're going to lose this stuff. Power core over there is not great. This, we really need to get this saturated. I need just more hatcheries. I just need a lot more hatcheries. We're almost back. We're almost back. Let's go ahead and take this base. 15 minutes. We got time back. We did get time back, which is great. Okay, and we need a lot of Hydralisks, I think. Oh, we lost my Hydra Den. That's right. Okay, we're getting mined out at home. Throw this down here. Get another hatchery. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and hotkey all these new hatcheries here and here and here. And how's this? That Okay, that one's still powered off. And so now we just need to continue out in this direction. This generator is nothing. So the only way to go is down in this direction, it looks like. Which means we also may be able to cut off any enemy attacks that are coming at me. And again, unless they're spawned, and I'm really not sure. Let's go ahead and keep this saturated and go ahead and saturate gas as well. And we have a nice force. It's just um, defending ourselves when we get attacked. So what I'll just do is set up spine crawlers and spore crawlers here. All right, that that should do it, honestly. That should that should really that should keep me safe for a little bit of time at least. Let's push into this last not this last area, but this area. Okay. Oh, they have liberators. Go ahead and mend and destroy this. And is this one back online? It is not. Okay, I can't get through here. So how do I get... Where is the, the, the way? I am so unclear on the way to go. And I think what I may have to do is use Nidus Worms. Okay, so you guys attack this. Let's keep spreading creep to get around there eventually. Let's go ahead and destroy this one again. And I'm just going to keep making these crawlers here. Good, looking good. Tunneling claws, I don't see why not. And I will get double spire. We have ton of, tons of drones here that I will transfer. So spire, spire, and then the rest of you come on over here. I did pull one of my spires off from being built there. So there's no, is there no land route for, for where I need to go? Because I can't get over this uh, this area. It's like blocked in, and I don't. And I didn't think I could destroy that. All right, now they're attacking from over here. How are they getting over here? There has to be a ground route. I'm really not. I'm not clear on that now. Unfortunately, this base is gone. I guess you guys just burrow. Okay, this base is obviously a little safer. Now we have to set up new defense. We do have a, a ton of time. Um, we're, you know, now, especially because we've got these spine crawlers here, I'm going to try to get those set up uh, elsewhere. Let's go ahead and get a queen so we can spread some creep over in that direction. I don't know if we can spread creep across this bridge, though. You will do. Okay, let's destroy this. All of you unburrow. Let's go ahead and rebuild the hatchery. We can't afford it right now, actually. It's because I, I don't have much income. I need to set this base back up. And I need to focus on... I think I need to focus on getting a, a bunch of guardians or something, because I can't do anything else. Okay. And we're just going to keep spreading creep in every direction that we can. And where is this? This is not a way. So where are those enemies? Oh, there is a bridge here. It's a little grass bridge. Okay, I, I need to get over and destroy that power core, or take control of the power core, rather. Very, very important. I think I'm going to call in Nicaria here. To push into this area. So we're going to contaminate this area. And do this and, and this. And just do do your thing, Nicaria. I just need you to, to do stuff. This area looks prime for the taking, actually. And this is how I know they were attacking me from over here. Add this to my hotkey group. Siri somehow is picking up what I'm saying. I don't know if I don't know if this is if I have what it takes here. Uh, not enough anti-air, perhaps. All right, banelings. Actually, I think I think we're good. Yeah, this is looking good. All right, you guys destroy this. 
and then keep spreading creep towards that area. Okay, she's gone, but that's okay. We, we pushed through this base. I think that was the perfect place to use Nicaria. Liberator's annoying. Okay, and then yeah, we just need we just need more and more income. Ten minutes on the thing. All right, we got some time back by destroying that. We're hammering time very very slowly, but all right, another base down. That's huge. I think we're on really good track right here. Okay, and then come on over here. We're gonna destroy this and then head back to base. We did just get attacked, so we should be in okay shape. Let's keep making drones to keep this saturated that and you guys get more gas and more gas and I guess guardians are not what I need in retrospect but I will start upgrading their stuff cool all right that's gone so everybody move back in this direction and I suppose I should go and try to attack the power core or I just take this last one now that we're here just give ourselves some extra time Okay, it's gone. There's their there's their main base, which is where they're sending What's attacks from. So if we could take this base and fortify it, we should be able to stop them from coming near me at all, which would be great. So I think I'm going to take this, and if I can set up a base in time, we'll be in really, really good shape. And uh, Otherwise, though, we do have to take that power core. And I'm still trying to spread creep, but it's a little too slow right now. Give me some more uh, tumors. And what, what do we really need to keep pushing this? I think more Hydralisks, really, and then we can just rally up some more, uh... Rally up some more Queens. Actually, Roaches we're a little short on right now. So you're kind of forced to destroy everything. <laughs> you're sort of forced to have to destroy everything on your way to these power... Before you get to the actual core, which is interesting. Okay, and I think now we've got... We've got a lot of stuff. We're in really, really good shape. I, if we destroy this and have control of the power core, then I think we've won. Is that correct? And then there's probably going to be a boss fight. Okay, I'm going to quick save right now. It's probably uh, I should have quick save before I did that in retrospect. That's enough. Activate the annihilator immediately. Fully powered or not. Our unwanted guests must be dealt with immediately. So there is still a small RSSI base. I'm curious to know if they'll still send attacks at me or not. I was reading about this on the forums. There, it is ready for combat. Send it after Crane at once. I was reading about this thing on the forums. It's like a... It's a boss battle, but you still have full macro power. So, what to do here? I'm thinking we just make a ton of Guardians. Yes, a dark time. Oh dear, it's coming for me. Alright, back up. Um, any extra drones we have, let's just go ahead and set up some, some of this stuff. And the Annihilator. The Annihilator has been released to take out Crayon's forces, but where of its abilities is it can deal massive area damage if not avoided. So it sounds like we just have to avoid the massive area damage. Give me some of them Guardians Overlords. Whoops. Reinforce the Annihilator now, which means they're sending units to follow it around. Oh, it's very, very fast. I see. I see. So we're going to stop move and do some damage here. Alright, oh, they're, they're on top of my base too. Okay, let's not, let's not, oh dear. Okay, we have guardians now. It seems like we're just going to get drop pods on route. Okay, let's see where it's going to attack. Clearly we need mostly uh, anti-air, right? All right, this is going. I mean, this is going fine right now. Right now, um, it's it's attacking single targets. We just have to watch for when it does uh, those area of effect things. Let's get more overlords. I'm a little nervous for when it attacks. Uh, we need to move in with everything. I'm just a little nervous for when it attacks with uh, area of effect. Reinforce the annihilators. So there's so RSSI is sending stuff. This is going fine. I think we were just very well prepared for this from the get-go. We had a lot of Hydralisks already. They're trying to attack me up here. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ooh, if I would have lost Kray in there, that would have been a nightmare. Okay, I need to get home. 
We, we have a lot of defense here, but I still need to get back just in case. Making guardians. I kind of want to just focus on the on the annihilator, honestly. I think I think this is fine. This is going well. Let's get plus two air attacks, and we got to keep an eye on this thing. We just got to keep an eye on its area of effect. And clump, clumped up guardians are, is bad news, right? But still, it's working. And we have oh, we have spore colonies here too. So let's just watch out for the, those big area of effect things, and we've definitely got it. Definitely got it. Come back here, you asshole. Yes, Guardians. Guardians being able to attack air in their Heart of the Swarm iteration from Primal Guardians. That was that was fun. That was cool. I like how a boss fight was incorporated with macro mechanics. Their weapon has been destroyed. Go, my children. Move further into the facility and destroy any RSSI you encounter. I want no trace of them remaining. You have done a great job this day, Crayon. Your skills are improving with every battle. My queen, our victory this day will surely assist us in securing the safety of our brood. I am ready to hand over all command to you. I have achieved what I wanted. We have... We may have dealt a crippling blow to the RSSI today. However, they are still large numbers. They are still large in numbers. They are bound to have bases akin to this one scattered all over the planet. I still thirst for vengeance for the pain they have inflicted upon us. What do you suggest we do, my queen? We will travel, Crayon. We will travel and hunt down all who show their loyalty to the organization. I wish to take this planet for the Daggerfang. Daggerfang. It shall serve as a reminder of our combined strength. And lastly, I wish to save the minds of our lost brethren. I will not end my search until this has been done. As you command, my queen. Rally our forces once this facility has been cleansed of Terran presence. I want to start our search at the earliest possible moment. Oh, and that's the... That's the remains of the Annihilator. That's so cool. That's part of the cinematic. Great mission, great mission. I'm so pleased to be back with Annihilation because these missions are just so well polished, pretty much bug free, just great. The only, what was it, the, the bug where I said, oh well, the select all larva hotkey um, didn't grab the first few larva right after the cutscene at the beginning of the mission, and that was it. But these these maps are just, they're great. They're, they're well tested, they're everything, it just flows very well. And it, you can just tell, you can feel the amount of thought put into it. The terraining, too, is just, it, it has a wonderful, wonderful feel to it. So, I think we're probably due to be back with Terran next mission. If, I, if I'm thinking of the rotation, we've had two Zerg missions, and before that we had, I believe, two Protoss missions. So, I think that's going to put us back in, in the Terran domain, back with Reeves. And we did learn that Reeves had worked with Malric. They're part of this Spec Ops organization. I don't remember the name of it. It's been some time since I played those maps, but we learned a bit about Malric and who the RSSI was and the CPG, which are our other Terran buddies. I, I don't remember all their names. There's Barry Baldwin was the head of them, I believe. And then he met Reeves, and Reeves was a peer of the antagonist, Malric, running RSSI. So I'm um, learning more about the overall stuff of this campaign and how it fits because apparently it does exist within starcraft lore we learned that in mission 11 there were codices codexes if you will <laughs> that kind of explains how the uh the protoss tribe that we're playing kind of fits in with with the, the rest of the protoss and, and that kind of stuff so you know they talked about how the rssi tried to invade core hole in the past all this kind of stuff so i'm interested to see how this continues and how this continues to fit into uh into existing lore with its own lore all right well, this has been Jay Bruno. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.